What's up guys, Michael from Alpha Teva is here. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm going to review the amazing island of Shirigao, Philippines as a digital nomad. So the first place I really like to hang out and work in the morning is Happiness Beach Resort. Happiness Beach Resort located in General Luna, which is the main tourist area in Shirigao Island. As you can see, internet connection is pretty good and you get an amazing view. The ocean is right there so you can enjoy the good weather, nice breeze in the morning and of course participate in the yoga classes every morning before the place starts around 10 o'clock. My second review would be my accommodation in Shirigao, Philippines. Unfortunately, Shirigao, it's Philippines is a bit expensive and especially Shirigao is a little bit pricey and expensive compared to the Philippines and Southeast Asia. As you can see, I could get a small kitchen and a small room with bed, bathroom and a shower and a small fridge so I can cook to myself. It was really basic but I could cook for myself every day. One of the fewest restaurants, uh, vegan restaurants here uh, on Shirigao Island. As you can see, uh, internet check is pretty good. It's a really convenient uh, place. They have uh, all day breakfast, salad bowls, toast, granola bowls, and uh, coffee. The coffee here is, uh, is great. Although I don't drink any coffee, but uh, I asked many people and everybody told me that the, the coffee here is very, very good. They also have a Vedia special with non-coffee options, cold pressed juices, kombucha, and uh, smoothie. I order and they also have their pastries. They make everything here. Uh, they make uh, like, uh, the, they even make the, the peanut butter here. So uh, I ordered the uh, Nadi Monkey smoothie bowl. It's cacao and uh, peanut butter. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a try to the banana bread. And uh, let's see how it is. Okay, so my uh, smoothie bowl has been arrived. That's a cacao peanut butter smoothie bowl. They also gave me uh, a flour that I'm not gonna eat. So let's move it aside. They also gave me um, extra cacao. I'm not sure I need it, but uh, okay. Let's give it a try. Blend everything together. So they said that they make everything here. They make the uh, the cacao flakes, they make the granola and the peanut butter. The only thing they don't make it, they don't uh, produce here is the oats, that, but they receive it organic from uh, from the Philippines. So actually it smells great, it looks great. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh wow. 100%, you can feel the the cacao, the quality of the cacao is amazing. Also, some few, um, also the chia seeds uh, feels uh, and tastes very, very cool, like high quality. Uh, the cacao tastes amazing. It's some kind of sugar, like um, natural sugar that they produce here. It's um, healthy sugar but it's not sativa I don't remember the name I'm going to ask her again I was checking it before it's not very sweet but it's it's delicious okay so next on the list we have the banana bread uh, like I said uh, they make it here flour of course so important to have flour and um, it comes with the peanut butter they make it uh, fresh every morning 
and it cost uh, 120 pesos. So the smoothie is 280 and the banana bread is 180. 180 pesos is around um, something like 2 USD, I'm not sure. So, uh, but you're gonna have it, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write it uh, down below, as you can see. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So, put some of the uh, peanut butter sauce. So the banana bread is amazing, it's very good, and the peanut butter uh, it's also very good, like we tried in the smoothie bowl. But I don't think it goes together uh, that well, because it's both, both of them are uh, like dry products, and it's dry and dry. I would choose something um, less dry than peanut butter for the sauce. but value for money it's good and it is good it's very fresh and it's hello good morning my name is Palomo uh, I'm the one who's gonna prepare your food so first we have here this one is the fried spring roll with veggies and then this one is veggie curry this one is eggplant teriyaki this one is um, fried eggplant tortang salong it's called in Filipino this one this one is um, mixed veggies with sourdough bread. And this one is japchae, potato noodles. Yeah. And then this one is Bicol Express. It's a Filipino dish. This one is pork adobo, but it's not real pork. Of course. Oh, I mean soy meat. And then this one is lentil soup. And then this one is the toron, banana bread with ube. Yeah, so everything is vegan. My wife and I and our friends own Vedia and started this. I don't know where we when we started it because of the whole pandemic stuff. But I think we started January of 2021. Idea just came about with my ate. Basically, she's a really good cook and none of us has really culinary background and wanted to do something like Karinderia style and yeah, something effortless and thought about maybe doing it vegan because the reason why we started like vegan Karinderia is because none of us are really fully vegan, but I pers we all have like different beliefs and why it is good to not eat as much meat as we want, but um personally or for us we felt that karinderia is a very local style of business and we also didn't want to do something similar that takes away from them where we thought about doing a vegan restaurant would you know make it a little bit different and kind of capture different people and yeah we just really do believe that eating meat every day or three times a day or every day really is not as sustainable and not really as good for your body and doing a cafe where we give access to you know vegan food and right. very familiar filipino cuisine and just any food that we all like to make we just try to be experimental and yeah just try to have a, try to have fun with everything we do there's not many uh, vegan restaurants here in Shirgao. Yeah, not, not at all. Not, not at all. I As think, a matter of fact. Yeah, I don't want to put a claim on anything, but I feel like we're the first one. I know there's Cosmic. I think for sure. I think there's uh, there's plenty of other restaurants that offer vegan stuff. Options. Yeah. But not 100% vegan. Not 100%, no. yeah. No. I think might be Cosmic would be the only yeah. one. Yeah, Cosmic and is the one. Yeah, so... Hope there I've been there, be but more. they don't offer any breakfast. They open at 12. Yeah. So you are the only brasserie, like kind of a breakfast place, bigger Thank place you. in town. Yeah. And then soon we'll be open for dinner as well. Nice. So hoping next month in April we'll be open for dinner as well. And we'll have vegan wine options as well. So.
My next review would be Escapo Gym. Escapo Gym is the only, kind of the only gym in general. Luna prices are 2,000 pesos for a monthly fee. There is no three months or six months, which is around 35 USD a month. A single entry used to be 250 pesos, but now it went up to 300 pesos. Um, this gym is extremely basic, small, chaotic. It's an outdoor gym with no AC. Uh, unfortunately, the owner, they don't uh, have any uh, towel policy, so people are, are working out with no shirts and no towels, so it's sweat all over. Um, I don't have many good things to say about uh, this gym because it's kind of, it's the only gym that you can work out. It's very pricey. You get, I mean, like really basic equipment, old, some of them are really rusty. This is something I would definitely uh, improve in Shirgao, uh, getting a better gym, a better gym with better and newer equipment. The next thing I would like to discuss with you guys is traveling in Shirgao Island. As you understand, Shirgao, is, Shirgao Island is a part of the Philippines, which is an amazing, extremely amazing, uh, beautiful nature and uh, traveling in Shirgao is one of the most exciting things I've done over there. You get a lot of roads that people come together taking photos like famous roads all around the island. Everybody talk about Shirgao as a surfing spot but Shirgao is an amazing paradise as well. So I'm going to review one of the places that I really like to visit. Bent uh, River, the entrance is 20 uh, pesos. This place is an extremely beautiful place. You can take the boat and go down with the river all the way to the ocean. But most of the people just coming over there, hanging out, jumping to the clear water. The water are fresh and, and pretty cold. Uh, compared to the ocean that can get really warm during the uh, sunny days and uh, just hanging out with the families, taking photos, taking videos, jumping from the uh, small building you have over there, just, en just hanging out or uh, enjoying the sun, traveling around this area which is like an amazing, extremely beautiful jungle Shirgao has been known for many years to be one of the sweet surfing spots around the world. People from all over the world coming to surf in Shirgao from beginners to professionals. One of the most exciting thing to do in Shirgao is taking a private boat to surfing spot. It costs around 600 pesos, something like 300 for the boat. It's a two hours ride and around 300 for the board. So if you carry your own board, it's going to be something like 250 or 300 uh, pesos. This time me and my friend took the ride to a place uh, named Stimpy. It was something like uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes uh, ride. I can tell you that the ride over there is extremely beautiful. You get to see a lot of nature around you. You get to see a lot of uh, yacht. Once you arrive at the spot, the guide takes out all the um, uh, surfboards from the boat. You just jump from the boat to the water climb your board and paddle all the way to the waves. 
area. Guys, I can tell you that that was one of the most exciting attraction that I've tried in Shirgao. Although it's a little bit expensive, but it's really worth it, value for money. That's an amazing experience. I know that you have the free spots all day long, all year long. And here you need to pay a little bit more money, but it's totally worth it. And I highly recommend it to do at least one time, at least one time when you visit Shirgao Island. Guys, I'm gonna wrap my video with that. Hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this video, share, like, and subscribe my channel. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.